Double punch. Speak my day. I dare you. I don't know anything. I'm not helpful. Every claw game drops the toy right before you get him. No. Remember. Remember. <laughs> What's up, Zonies? It's Miss Alex here, or famously known as Kiki Kiwi. Mm -hmm. Today, we are gonna get to go behind the scenes and interview some of the other voices, the lesser known voices uh, of the Kapow series. So first, we're gonna get started with Miss Delaney. Hey, yo! How are Hello. you? <laughs> I'm great, how are you? Thank you I'm for good. being here. <laughs> All right, Miss Delaney, you play the star of the series, Kapow. Well, I should say one of the stars. But my question for you is, oh, okay. what is it like playing the hero? You know, Miss Alex, it's a lot like being a kid again. Because I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I played superheroes all the time. So playing Kapow was a lot like that. I used a lot of my imagination. So I felt like a kid again. I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> Our next question is, question how is, are you like Kapow and how are you different from mm -hmm. Kapow? Kapow can do a backflip, Miss Delaney cannot. Kapow talks to herself. She has like her inner monologue that's like, Kapow, you got this. I do that too, all the time. <laughs> I talk to myself, I'm like, Delaney, you got this. I think that's how we're like, we talk to ourselves a lot. Thank you so much for joining us. It was truly an honor. Goodbye, bye. Hiya! Let's bring on our next person, Trevor! Hello, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Outstanding. Okay, so I wanted to start with the most important question. There are many characters in Kapow. Who is your favorite and why is it Kiki Kiwi? That's a good guess. I think it's probably Awful Kado for me. Uh Next question. From what we've seen so far, you play three bad dudes, all right? Pineapple Panic, mm -hmm. Awful Kado, and Coconut Job. So for the boys and girls out there who might wanna get into voice acting, could you teach us how to do the Coconut Job scream? Absolutely, so I think the key, you, what you, you kinda have to do the swords, you know, with your arms, uh. and it's Okay, boys and girls, I think we should try that together. So mm -hmm. will you do it with us all first? Right. All right, on the count of three, one, two, three. Thank you for joining us on Kapow Behind the Scenes. Bye. See ya. And now we have Mr. Will. Mr. Will, come on in. Oh, what's going on? Will, you play Melancholy, the saddest of all fruits. I do. So <laughs> tell us, how did you get into playing a character that is so different from who you are in real life? When they asked me to play Melancholy, mm -hmm. I just thought of like, the saddest possible day mm. I could ever, ever have. My next question is, do you ever wish that you had been asked to do the voice of the great Kiki Kiwi? And why <laughs> is your answer yes? <laughs> I, I, it was the role that I felt like I was born to play, mm. but there was just somebody else out there who was better than I was, right. and they got the part, and so I was stuck with Melancholy and Slice of Nice, which is not bad, but it's not Kiki Kiwi. It's not the star. It sure is not. Show. All right, well, well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank this you. has been great. This has been so much fun. Thank you for having me. All right. I, I'm, I'm gonna go eat some, some, uh, some melon now. All right. Okay. <laughs> Bye. All right, now let's welcome our final guest, Pastor Jonathan. Hey, everybody. How's it going? All right, you guys. So Pastor Jonathan does the voice for a few of our characters, but the one that you're probably the most familiar with is Master Capri Sun. So our first question is, how do you get into character as Master Capri Sun? I don't know if anybody knows who the Ninja Turtles are, mm. but the Ninja Turtles always had their master and he was Splinter, okay? okay. He was a giant rat, but he always had this rasp to his voice. And yeah. so I started with Master Splinter and then I just kind of created my own version of that. And then, I don't know if y'all love The Lion King, mm. but Rafiki, you know, when he tells Simba to remember, add them all together, the and you got, of... remember! And it's, you know, I think it's kind of epic. I, that's my favorite line that he says. Um, He's always dying. So is that something that we can expect to see again from him Ooh. in these final two episodes? Listen, you're asking me for spoilers. Yeah. I have been sworn to secrecy, um, but expect a few surprises. Um, 
there may be some tears, but oh. you know, they may be tears of joy. Oh, okay. All right, and my final question yes. for you is this. When it comes to his last words, mm. Master Capri Sun is full of sage wisdom. So yeah. do you have any last words that you'd like to leave with us? I think my favorite verse in the Bible that really points back mm. to the fruit of the spirit is taste and see that God is good. So boys and girls, if there's anything you should get from this week, it's to see the good things that God's doing in your life, taste them, and remember how good God has been. Wow, so wise. Thank you, thank you for that. Well, boys and girls, there you have it. This has been Kapal Behind the Scenes. I'm Miss Alex, I mean, Kiki Kiwi, signing off. Bye.